Okay, here we are on a uh, seasonally dry hill. Um, some Senecio relatives. Um, actually, it used to be a Senecio, but then um, creeping Oregon grape and a Clitonia. But what I'm looking at this is <clears throat> two shoots and See if we can get the flower. So it's an orchid because it has a column and balloon and all that. Uh, but you'll notice the um, purple lip. Uh, most um, coral horizons actually do not have that sort of lip. They're usually spotted and um, more of an orchid shape rather than that just narrow. So, uh, called the Risa or um, do they have a um, are usually saprophytic um, or mycorrhizal. Um, that's maybe another way of looking at it. So, they're um, feeding off the uh, fungus and the detritus of the area, and actually, fairly rich soil. Um, normally, you'll see uh, these under forest habitat, and this is not. But um, uh, anyway, this particular species is stricta, and it might be a variety stricta. I don't have a good key for that, but anyway, um, I've seen maculata here, so. This is stricta, and it's just coming into bloom. But anyway, this particular orchid, as you can imagine, doesn't, uh, it's not going to transplant or anything like that because it's um, just not that sort of thing. It's just not photosynthetic. There's no, there's no leaves. Um, there are some species that are greener than other ones, but um, not this one necessarily. And um, so, so anyway, coral arise, uh, um usually growing under trees and in shade areas. That's what I've seen them. Uh, I've seen them growing along the creek down here, but this one's along a road and uh, rather peculiar habitat in some ways. So that's interesting. And this seems to be. A snail gray bird uh, as well. So anyway, there you go, coral horizon, one of our, our few orchids uh, here in Oray area.